Hi everyone and welcome to this video. I just want to apologize that I'm doing voiceover on this uh, video. It's because for some reason the, the voice or the my voice didn't want to record what I was filming so I have to do a voiceover but this video was very requested from you guys you wanted to see my collection my full collection of the palettes that I own and here they are we're going to start with this part here to show you what I have in this drawer right now and I'm going to sort all of these palettes I didn't have time to do so before but I am going to do that later but let's just start and see what I have so I want to start with these palettes right here now they are not sorted on any part I didn't even sort them or I just placed them here in this drawer just to show you guys what I own um, I do reach for them not all of these palettes but some of them I still use a lot but I'm not going to get rid of any let's start here this is the show palette from Record Revolution. This is very dusty, as you can see. I haven't used this in a long while. But these shades are very nice and beautiful. I still will be using this, but I haven't been reaching for it. Now, this is a palette that I used maybe once, Bomb.com uh, bomb palette, Julie. This is a glitter palette, only glitter shades. And I do like them. Not the best quality, but they're not bad. I think they're stunning. And I'm going to use them in the future. I just want to have a, a palette like this in my collection. I think they are stunning. Very, very beautiful. Now let's look at this palette right here. This is from IDC Color Palette Daily Look Eyeshadow Palette. Now I like this palette. I also have a review on my channel that I did, I think, a little bit over a year ago. And I do like this palette. Not now, not all of the shades are very pigmented. Some of them are hard to work with, but I still think it's a very nice palette. Uh, if you're into these colors, pink and a little bit purple, and also nude shades, I think this is a very nice palette to invest in. It's not expensive at all either. Now, there are a couple of Revolution palettes right here. This is a Revolution palette that I am not a really big fan of. This is let's see what it's called neutrals versus neutrals and this palette uh, many people really like this palette but it's not my cup of tea actually i do like the shade but still very hard to work with i think uh, this palette is my least favorite for makeup revolution it's not as pigmented as, as everybody else says it didn't work for me now this is flawless three collection palette this palette is nice i don't reach for it uh, it's because I have other shades, uh, these shades in other palettes. This is like, I don't know, Anastasia Beryl Hills Modern Renaissance palette. I do like it. I've been using it a couple of times. Not as much as I thought I would, but it's a nice palette. And I do like to have it in my collection and compare shades. Uh, but I do have other Revolution palettes that I like. Now, this is uh, from Kat Von D, uh, Lolita palette. Now, I bought this palette because of the shades. And I love these shades. I love the pigmentation. I love how easy they are to blend and work with. Now, I wouldn't pay full price for this palette. I got this 50% off from Sephora. And that's what I bought it. But I wouldn't pay full price for it. Now, this is a palette I haven't been using for over two years. This is Basis from Chi Chi. And I really like this palette. This reminds me of the... Um, I think first palette from Urban Decay. Uh, I forgot the name now of, uh, of that palette, but I really like this palette. It's nice pigmentation, easy to work with. Not, it's not expensive at all, and I like that brand. Now this is Icon Palette Absolute New York that I got in one of my subscription boxes. Now this is also remind me a lot of the Urban Decay palette. It's very nice. These are pigmented, not easiest to work with though, but I do like this palette. I've used it a couple of times. I'm not reaching for it, but I am going to have it in my collection. Now this is a palette from Nip and & Fab, and I really like this palette. I really like Nip & Fab as a brand. I think these shades are very pigmented, very easy to work with. 
I really enjoy using this palette and I've been reaching for it. I need to check out other palettes from Nip and Fab, but they are amazing. Now I have another mini icon uh, palette. I also got this in one of my subscription boxes. This is a very cute neutral eyeshadow palette. Now I did use it actually only once and they are pigmented. I like this more than the big one. But I have these shades in other palettes, so I'm not reaching for it as much as I should, maybe. This is our Obsession Palette Warm Up that I have a video review of on my channel, if you want to see that. I like it. This is another one that I also have a review of. Love every shade. Very nice and pigmented shades. They work beautifully and very cheap. Also, this is, you got this. This is a face palette, and I did use a couple of times. And this is the um, cool, cool down palette. I also like these shades. Pigmented, easy to work with, nice. Now here we have Morphe Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection. I like these palettes. And I have a review of each palette on my channel. And some of the shades may, shades are a little bit hard to work with. But I re actually really, really like these, pal these palettes and I enjoy them. And I still use uh, 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 those palettes. Now this is a Shenox palette from BH Cosmetics. I think I pronounced this wrong. I'm so sorry. This is a very nice neutral palette. I've been using this a lot. This is my everyday palette a couple of years ago. This is a lipstick side that I also use. Now this is so old that it is expired. I'm not using it but I love the shades and keeping it. This is Pract palette that I have a review on on my channel too. Now Pract uh, was a Swedish brand that unfortunately is not available anymore. But I'm not getting rid of this palette because it's very nice. I've been using it a lot. I don't use it on camera because you can't get it anymore, unfortunately. But I do enjoy this palette and I think it's easy to work with. Very beginner friendly palette. I really like Pract as a brand and I hope they will come back in the future. But I have a couple of uh, palettes from Pract. Now let's see. This palette is Motifs. Motifs Mavens. I can't pronounce this brand. This is my first palette that I bought uh, actually for myself. And this was expenses I've been uh, saving uh, for months to get this palette. These I've been using a lot and I love this uh, palette. They are so easy to work with, to blend with. I used it uh, last week. It's so expired, it's old, but I didn't get any <laughs> allergic reaction. I really like this. I hope I will be able to buy more from this brand. I haven't even checked out if they have something new, but this is a very nice palette, nice pigmentation. Now this is another Pract palette that I had in one of my giveaways last year. I love this palette. These shades are also beautiful and easy to work with. You have glitters and uh, nice pink red shades. Really, really like this palette too. Now let's see, I have another one from Pract. This one I've used the most. And it's because the shades are... Uh, very nice, very nice. You can create so many makeup look with these shades. Pigmented, last on the whole day, nice and beginner friendly. I have, like I said, a review of uh, every single palette on my channel if you're interested to check it out more. Now, Color Drain, this is a palette, cheers, uh, that I got a long time ago and I love these shades. I still use them. It's expired. I know, but I do still use them. I don't recommend using expired makeup, but I don't care. I mean, I think these work nice. They blend beautifully and I love, love this brand. I have another palette from them that I really like. Now we are done with this. Let's go over to next one. Now here we have some palette. This is um, from that draw that I forgot to show you, Revolution Pro glitters that I bought a long time ago when they just launched, but I forgot to use them. I haven't even swatched them. They look beautiful, so I am going to try them because you can not get these, but I haven't used them. They are stunning. I need to try and tell you what I think about them. Now, the rest of these palettes are the palettes that I use. This is a very nice palette that I got from my sister from Viseart. Um, this is Bride Satin palette. I love these shades. Now you do need uh, some mattes to kind of create a 
beautiful makeup look or I like to use mattes together with these. Now let's see, I have a palette that I got in one of my subscription boxes, Bella Pierre palette Peach Blossom. This is the newest palette that I got. Uh, and actually I got one yesterday, but this is the newest that I got in my subscription box and then when I filmed this video. Now these are cute. I haven't used them yet, but I am going to use these on my channel create and make beautiful makeup look because this palette is very, very nice and it makes me happy to just look at it because I like this shade. And you can see here it includes four pressed eyeshadow powders. Now we have another shade uh, palette, very cute, that I used a couple of times. This is from BH Cosmetics. Now the pink, pa the pink shade in here, the lightest champagne pink shade, it's my favorite. I've been using it a couple of times uh, or use the most of all of these. So let's see, uh, we have another small palette. This is from Technique. This palette I got because of this orange shade here but this is so disappointing because it's not pigmented and it doesn't really want to blend as beautiful as I thought it would. This shade uh, it's stunning, it's pigmented, it's very nice but the shade next to it that I was most excited about made me very disappointed. Now we have a palette from Vizior that I got from my sister. This palette is very very cute. I really like this palette and I do like to travel with this because it's small, it's compact, it has everything for uh, every make day makeup look. It's very nice and very cute. You get eight shades in here. Let me just open it to show you guys. It's kind of tricky to open it with one hand. Look how stunning these are. It, it looks like I didn't use them, but I have <laughs> been using them a lot. Uh, and they are very nice. You can create a lot of makeup looks with these eight shades. Now you can see how cute this is. Now we have another palette. This is from Makeup Revolution. My most used palette from Makeup Revolution. This is a dupe for Kathleen, uh, Kat Von D's uh, Shade and Light palette. And I got this because my sister bought one uh, this palette and she really liked it so I got it for myself. Really like this palette. I've been using it a lot. Haven't used it in a long time. I think it's expired. But I think everybody should have this palette in their collection. It's very, very very nice. Now here we have a lot of contours or uh, face and eyeshadow palette from NYX. Now this is a palette if you don't want to own a lot of makeup but you still want these nude shades. This is uh, you get highlighter, you get the powder, you get the bronzer, contour shade, eyebrow products and also nine eyeshadow eyeshadows. Uh, eyeshadows in this palette. It's a very nice palette and I used it a lot. I also have a review of this so if you're looking for something like this uh, that has everything this is a good choice. Now we have another small palette that I only used twice, Smoke from L'Oreal. I kind of like this palette but they are just two shades. Black and I have black in many eyeshadows, eyeshadow palettes and this nice green. Use this twice uh, I don't know, I just don't reach for it and I don't think I will. Now let's see, now we have another NYX palette that I use a lot on uh, uh, on my channel also, creating many makeup looks with this palette. They are very nice, pigmented, easy to work with, I like this palette. Now we have another palette from NYX uh, that I was very excited about to get actually, but it made me a little bit disappointed. They are not really as pigmented as I thought. Now this is another one that I also look forward to get. This is Sugar High palette. These get a lot of uh, nice reviews, but I was a little bit disappointed. And now uh, we have this one here too. It's beautiful. I do like them, but um, well, I expected more of these. Now another palette that I used many times because cherry, I love cherries, is this palette. Shades are beautiful, but not all of them work as nice as they should. Some of them are pigmented, some of them are harder to work with, very hard pressed. As you look at the shades, they are very nice, very nice eyeshadows, uh, or they look very nice, but they are a little bit hard to work with, and I don't reach for it. Now, let's go to my Anastasia collection. 
this palette I got from my mom in, uh, as a birthday present a couple of years ago and I've been using it a lot. Now, I haven't used it in uh, I think over a year now. It's very loved, very used palette and I do like this. is my first Anastasia Beverly Hills palette that I got as a present. I'm going to keep it because it has nice memories. Now the newest one in this collection is uh, this one that I've used and still use. I love these shades, they are stunning, stunning, stunning. I don't like the glitter though, but these others work. Riviere palette is uh, one of my favorite palettes from Anastasia. Love this palette. But now we have Subculture that I also really like and I talked about this on my channel a lot. I have a re video on of each palette on my channel. This is a uh, very nice and lot. My almost most used palette, it's this one, Call It Bible. I use this so many times for my everyday makeup looks. Now we have Jakey Aina that I also really like these shades. Very nice, pigmented, easy to work with. Look at the colors, they're stunning. Now my most used palette is this one also, soft glam look. I almost I also hit the pan in one of the shades. Love this palette, really love it. Norina palette also like a lot, used many 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 times. Uh, very nice palette, which every time I want these kind of shades on my eyes. More than Renaissance I got because everybody else loves this palette. I like it too, but I haven't used this as many times as I use the other palettes. It's because I have these shades in other palettes, but it's a very nice palette. Soul Tree, oh, I love this palette too. I really like Anastasia Beverly Hills. As you can see, they are very loved and many of these shades are used many, many times. Uh, I like it a lot. Also, so a palette that not many talk about, but I like. I like this palette, Prism palette. Love, love the shades. I haven't reached for this for a couple of months, but I am going to use this palette. Beautiful, beautiful, especially this pink lower, uh, lower eyeshadow in this palette. This is my collection from Anastasia. Love this. More palettes for Makeup Revolution. This is a palette that I reviewed a couple of times on my channel. This one, two dupes from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Some of these palettes, but nice, very nice pigmented work beautifully. I do really enjoy these palettes. I haven't reached for this couple of times. This is like modern renaissance dupe. Uh, really beautiful palette too. And this one. Uh, some of the shades uh, kind of blend to the same shade, but they are very nice. I think it's worth the money. Now these two are my least favorite from Makeup Revolution, Revolution Pro. Some of these eyeshadow palettes or eyeshadows are very nice, but some of them are not. Uh, this one is my least favorite, especially these shades that are two in one, these shimmery shades. You can see that they have some print on it. When you have these on the eyes or use the, uh, with the finger, you're not going to get the same makeup look on uh, both eyes because of these colors. They are not really nice mixed, mixed, as you can see, and they don't transfer even on the eyes. Now, this is my favorite palette, one of the favorite palettes. It's Nude Patootie from Laura Lee. I think everybody should have this palette in their collection. I love this, and I am going to buy a new one with this expired. I hope she won't discontinue this. Look at these shades. This is a uh, wedding day palette, I think. Beautiful. I wish for this all the time. Love this, especially this shade here, Exposed. One of my favorite shades. Love, love this palette. Now, this is a brand that I really enjoy. This is Ace Beauté. I love Ace Beauté palettes. This palette I actually haven't touched. I think I swatched a couple of shades, but I haven't created a makeup look, so I need to play with this palette. Um, it's very nice, but I just didn't have time to try to create a makeup look. Now, if you look at this palette here, this is my most loved from Ace Beauty. I love this one. I love this palette. I created some of my favorite makeup looks with this palette. Also have review on my channel if you're interested to see that. But look at the shades. Very nice to easy, easy to work with. And this is another palette that I really like from Ace Beauty. Pink shades. 
also easy to blend, easy to work with, and I think they are stunning. A purple palette. This one I haven't used um, as many times as these others, but I do have a couple of makeup looks on my channel using this palette. It's stunning. So this was everything here. Let's go to this side. Okay, now let's go over to Jeffree Star. This is the palette. Four palettes I own from Jeffree Star. This is Conspiracy Palette. I think I have a review of this palette on my channel or at least some makeup looks. I reached for it, not as much as I thought I would, but I do really enjoy the pigmentation and I enjoy this palette and I'm happy that I have it in my collection. Now I'm not going to open this palette, you know this <laughs> uh, red palette from Jeffree Star. Now we also have Blue Blood that I have in this box. I don't know why. I have review on this, pa of this palette on my channel. Love it. Love it. Now, the newest collection from Jeffree Star palette is this one that I also really like. I actually use this now and reach for it. I love this palette. They are bulky, not easy to travel with, but they are beautiful. Now, this is a pixie palette that I got from my sister. I like this palette a lot. Now I don't reach for it anymore because this is expired. Uh, but this is Cooper Peach. I, of course everything that has with peach to do is something that I really like. Now this is my favorite shade in here. This one right here. It's beautiful. It's stunning. But I'm not going to use it because it is expired actually. This is from um, the model's own. One of the palettes that I reviewed on my channel. I like this. As you can see, these are more like toppers and not uh, as shades, maybe, as other regular palettes. Now, this is more like toppers. Like this palette, I don't actually reach for it, but it's a nice and I do like to have it in my collection. It's stunning. The packaging is stunning. Beautiful. So, let's close it. Beautiful palette. Now I have this palette. I think I have a couple of makeup, makeup looks with this palette. Really like it. I do reach for it sometimes. Not as often as I should maybe, but it's nice. Oh my god, this is my favorite palette. <laughs> also one of my favorite palettes. I've used this on my channel so many times and talked about it so many times on my channel and on my Instagram. Love this palette. Never going to get rid of it. When it gets expired, I hope it will be available so I can buy another one. Stunning. I also got one to my sister uh, on her birthday last year. Natasha Denona. Now I have this palette, Sunset Palette, from Natasha Denona that I really, really like. I have to say, actually, that I have a new palette from Natasha Denona. Not the new one, but it's a, it's the Safari palette that I got uh, when it was 20% off. I have that one. I don't have it on my channel because I just got it. Now, this is a Physician's Formula palette that I got from my friend Valerie in a box swap. I really wanted this when it just launched and she got this for me in a box swap and I was so happy. I do use this shade, especially in the fall, these eyeshadows, I use them in the fall. I use this white all the time, actually. It's one of my favorite to blend the other shades, but this green is stunning. Love, love, love this. I'm going to continue using it, of course. So, let's keep it here. This is, uh, I think I have one palette from this brand, Je, Je Vais, can't pronounce it. And I like this palette, I think I got it from my sister. Now this uh, Faso, it's one of my favorite shades in here. This is a nice palette, pigmentation, the brand is stunning, they do some amazing palettes, I love this. Now, on a palette that I got because of the sh orange shades in here, but I don't use this as much as I thought I would. Uh, OPY. Look, they're stunning, but um, they look so similar on the eyes when you use them, some of the shades. So I don't reach for it, but I am going to have it. Uh, this is Violet Voss Big Palette. This was something I was very happy to get, Ride or Die Palette. I don't know if this is available. Really, this is a very nice palette, and I thought that this is going to be the only palette I'm going to use because it contains everything. But actually, it's my least used palette from 
this brand and it's not because I don't like it. The shade's amazing. They're all so easy to work with. It's one of my favorite formulas of eyeshadows is Violet Voss. But this is so bulky, so heavy to <laughs> actually hold. So that's the reason I don't reach for it. But this is stunning. Now let's go over here. This is the Naked Honey that I got from my sister. Oh, I love this palette. I use this palette a lot. When I want a nude or a gold eyeshadow makeup look, this is a palette I reach for because I love the pigmentation. I love this palette. Really, really love this palette. Very nice. Now Naked 3 palette is a palette that I got years ago and I think it's expired, but I do like it. I don't reach for it. But I really enjoy this palette and I think maybe I will repurchase it in the future because of the shades. Now this Vice palette from Urban Decay is expired. I don't reach for it anymore, not because it's on old, because of that too, but it doesn't really give me ideas for to create makeup looks, but I am having it on in my collection. Now these palettes I got from my husband, this L'Oreal, and I also have a review of this palettes. I'm not going to open them. I'm going to show this one, like colors. Now I have reviews. I like this. I got them as a present. I'm not using it, but I am having them in my collection. Let's just show you. This is my favorite from all these. It's some, this one I use the most and I do like them. Sometimes I do use it, but not as often. These others I don't reach for as much as I should maybe. But I'm going to keep them because they are present for my husband and they mean a lot to me. I really like to have them in here with the rest of this. Now let's go here. Kaya Cosmetics, Swedish brand, high quality, some amazing eyeshadows. Uh, this is my most used palette last year. They are nude shades, but this palette is so beautiful, so easy to work with. Now, I know I have these shades in other palettes, but this is my favorite nude palette. Kaya Cosmetics really did an amazing job with this quality. They are expensive. This is the newest collection from Kaya Cosmetics that I also have. Really like it. Haven't used it as much as the first palette, but I like it. Like I said, they're expi expensive, but they are worth the money. Really beautiful. So if you're into these shades, look at it. This is cruelty free too. Now let's go Linda Halberg. This palette is so expensive for four shades. And they are nice, but I think it's overpriced. Now the, you can use these uh, all over the body if you like to. That's what's nice with Linda Halberg's palettes. Now, Infinity Palette is a face and eyeshadow palette that I have a review on and used a couple of times on my channel. I do like it. I reach, still reach for it. I do like this palette. Now, we have another palette from the Halbert that I got because of this orange shade. <laughs> Just because of this orange shade. And I do use this palette. It's stunning. Really nice palette. Thin also. Easy to travel with. Now let's go to this. Oh, this is my most used palette ever, peach palette. And this is so old and I traveled with this so many times. It's one of my favorite palettes too. I really like, especially this shade uh, up here, this champagne shade. I like this palette. And I think I'm going to repurchase this in the future. This one is, I think, also expired, but I like it. Chocolate Bar Palette. Mm. This one I like. I uh, used this couple of times and I really like the pigmentation is there. These are easy to work with. Now this palette is expired. I do have it because it means a lot to me. And I've used this so many, many times. But I don't reach for, for this. I have these shades in other palettes. It's also expired but I am keeping it is a memory. Now this is uh, a Lager palette that I got from my friend Valerie and I do like this palette. I still reach for it. Um, so let me just try to open it with one hand. It's kind of hard with these nails and also one hand. Now I really like this palette. It's beautiful, very pigmented and nice palette. I was surprised that these work so so nice and I'm going to use it, still using it. This is my least favorite palette from Wet n Wild. This was a disappointed. Boring shades. I thought they would work better than they look, but they do not. Still keeping it. Oh, I love this from Wet n Wild. I had it in one of my giveaways too, not so long ago. 
This is very nice, used it so, so many times. I really like this palette and I also have review of this on my channel. So check it out if you're interested. Athena palette. This is a brand Lauritz, so Lawrence, I can't really pronounce this. This I got in one of my subscription boxes. I like this palette. I also have, I think, review of this palette on my channel. Beautiful shades, reaching for it, nice. Oh, this. Ace Beauty, oh, I was so excited when I saw this palette and when it launched on Beauty Bay, I immediately got this palette. These shades are stunning. These eyeshadows are high quality. They really have nice pigmentation, very pigmented, very easy to work with, and I love these shades. It, I create so many makeup looks and I have a review on my channel. One of my favorite palettes. Now I talk fast about this palette because I have plenty of these. So we are going fast, fast through all of these. Uh, so sorry guys, this video is long. This is a sleek palette. I like sleek palettes and I gave away many in my giveaways. This is Sunset or I don't remember the name and I didn't have time to look at it. But this is a nice, I don't reach for this anymore because this is expired. But I like these shades and I do like to compare these. I've used this many times as you can see. And it's sleek, nice. This is another sleek palette that I also like uh, on the horizon beautiful um, used many times actually I like this palette very beautiful this is a Lorac palette this is my only Lorac palette that I own beautiful and I do reach for it when I want to use these shades I like Laura Lorac eyeshadows I just don't know what I don't own maybe because they're not so easy to get here in Sweden but this is a nice palette now this palette from Zoeva, it's my also the only palette I own from Zoeva. This was a present for my husband and my children. I love this palette and I used it many times. You can't really see that I've used these shades, but I've used this many, many times. And I like it. Need to buy more from Zoeva. Like this brand. Like their brushes. My also one of my favorite palettes is this from um, Color Drain, I think it's called. I love this palette and I think everybody should have this palette in their collection. I've used it so many times, still use it. Very nice. I think it's expired but I am using it. My first palette from Violet Voss, they actually got me in Violet Voss, uh, interested in Violet Voss as a brand. This is Laura Lee. I love this Violet Voss and Laura Lee collection. I love this palette and I love the pigmentation. These are easy to work with. I don't use it because it expired. But I really like the, this brand and I really like their formula. Uh, beginner friendly too. So I haven't heard that so much about this brand in a couple of months. I hope they will come back strong. This is uh, because of that first palette I got this Pro Eyeshadow Palette. And I use this so many times. This is my everyday go palette. Really like this. Kind of reminds me of Modern Renaissance as you can see. Uh, has similar shades, but I like this. BH Cosmetics, Kylie Bible. I love Kylie Bible and I love this palette. This one I've used so many times. I also have, of course, a review on my channel. BH Cosmetics has my uh, favorite pa favorite highlighter um, highlighters and I like this highlighter formula. That was the word I was looking for. Now let's go over to this palette from Huda Beauty. Love Huda Beauty, love her products, love her eyeshadows. Now this is the Neon that I had uh, not so long ago. I still use these palettes. Neon palettes, I do like them. And I'm very, very happy. This is my newest from Huda Beauty. This I got from my friend Valerie in a box swap. I have it in this plastic because this open broke this part in here. I, I love this palette and I use this palette very very often and I'm going to continue using it because I really like the Huda Beauty palettes like it now this is the first version of her first palette I'm not going to get uh, remixed because I'm not using these shades anymore but I like this now we have desert uh, dust palette this is my also most used palette actually I love these shades these are beautiful really like this palette. Now I have also nude palette from Huda Beauty. Now as you can see all of her eyeshadows are actually like pink purple uh, 
colors. She really liked those and I like this palette a lot. Still use it. Now let's go over here. This is Colourpop. I got this also from Colourpop and Laura Lee collection. And I like this. Uh, and this is the only is actually these kind of eyeshadows that I own. Like this. Beautiful. Still use them. Not as often. I'm not really into singles but I like them. Baby Got Peach I got from my sister for my birthday last year. And I really like this palette. I still reach for it because I love peaches and I love these kind of shades too. Look how cute this is. Very nice palette. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful palette. We have also Sweet Talk. I bought this because of the Raw Christy Beauty. She talked about this palette and reviewed on her channel. Then immediately after that video I went and bought it. Or I ordered it, of course. This was last year during the spring. Beautiful palette. Dream Street. Uh, Katie Light. I love her. I love this palette. Used it many, many times. Still reach for it. Cute. F. Also like this palette. Reminds of Natasha Donona. Love it. We have also this one, Magic. Like this palette too. Used a couple of times. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, I love Tati and I trust her opinion. Uh, not all of the products she tries work on me, but this palette is amazing. And if you need to buy a palette, this is a palette you need to invest in. This has everything, really everything. These work beautifully. It's something I really enjoy using and I love, love, love this palette. Used it so many times. Can't wait to see what she's coming out with next. Morphe palette. I had three Morphe palettes. This is one that I was excited to get by, I don't know, I used it a couple of times, but these shades look so similar to each other, so I'm not using it. I think this is 3502. Let's see, I have it here. Yes, 3502. Nice palette, nice pigmentation, work nice, but I don't reach for it if I'm not reaching for one. Jack and Hill, oh my god, I love this palette, guys. This is beautiful. It has everything you need. I reach for this palette is something I really enjoy. As you can see, her first palette I use so much. <laughs> it's so very disgusting. I need to get a new one. This is the first release of the palette that came out, and I have it. Love this palette. Also used it so many times. Traveled with it. I need to buy this one again because it's expired. And I, but I still use it. I still reach for this palette. I love this. Uh, many makeup looks that I am proud of come from this palette. Now, that's my old palette collection, except the new ones that I didn't have time to film. I uh, actually got yesterday after filming this video. This is singles, two singles from Nabla Cosmetic. Not going to open them. They were in the same drawer as these palettes, so that's why I got it. Pigments. This is a nice metallic pigments and matte pigments for Pixie. Actually, guys, I got this, I think, a year, year and a half ago, and I didn't even open many of these. Maybe I opened two, three, just swatched them. Beautiful, nice pigmentation, very nice, but I don't reach for pigments. I know my friend Valerie loves pigments, and many of my other friends love it, but I prefer palettes. These are beautiful, so if you like pigments, this is actually a brand you need to check out. Beautiful pigments. I, maybe I should try use these. Makeup Geek. I love Makeup Geek and I love Marlena. She's a very inspiring woman, strong woman. I really, really like her. I love what she did with these uh, eyeshadows. These are beautiful, pigmented, very old and I think expired. This is the old version of uh, the eyeshadows. But I still keep them because I really like them. I don't have hard to get rid of them. Really don't have hard to get rid of these, but I need to buy newer new version. This is even older from Makeup Geek, some of her first eyeshadows and I love this. I mean some of them are used so much. Now I broke one of these that it's very empty. These I've used up. Look how beautiful they are actually. I love 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 Makeup Geek. I need to buy the new version but I don't have how to release this. This is my full collection of the palettes that I own plus the Natasha Denona Safari palette that I got yesterday. I filmed this video a week ago. 
and this is all of my palettes love uh, many of these some of them i don't use anymore but they mean so much to me so i'm not getting rid of them guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and see